So the show finally came out where Adam 22 would be giving away his wife Lena for the second time. As you guys know, a man named Jason Love busted open like a can of biscuits right around the time the leaves changed brown. And now it's time to finally see who's gonna be the next dude to get all up in that. Only this time Adam's actually gonna be in the room. We have several contestants here that you can tell that Adam handpicked. And let's be honest, no one is more down bad in this situation than Adam himself. A group hug. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, oh he's handsome. He's pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. Could you give him a hug? I wanna see how you guys look together. Yeah, I want, I want this. Describe his smell for me. Can I <laughs> smell like... But the contestants drooling over his wife, some of which are Adam's personal friends, as well as the little freaks at home anxiously waiting to purchase this scene, might as well be equally disgraceful. With all of that being said, the quality of this show when it comes to pure entertainment value is much better than I expected. It kinda reminded me of a VH1 parody, and I could totally see this going on one of the more ratchet apps out there like Tubi or Zeus. And I do have to say I found it very funny that when discussing the reaction to the announcement of this show, Adam had this to say on a recent podcast. People took the, the overall concept of it and changed the title to Adam 22 is doing a reality show to find out who the next dude to bang his wife will be. And they like take the part of me of it being a me, they take that out so it looks like I'm just straight up like auctioning my girl off. That's been wild just seeing the 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 people are running with. Was but. it fun filming it though? And I just wonder how he would question why people would have this reaction when he's constantly saying things like this. So why do you think that you're the one to help me service my wife? You talk a lot about giving young, underrepresented, underprivileged people from the hood a chance. What could be a better example of giving somebody a chance than giving them a chance to my wife? Adam, you got um, some psychological shit going on, bro. May the best man win. Either way, let's break down the actual show that has aired three episodes at this point. So I thought this guy was a YouTube lawyer. He's not. He's actually already an adult star. In fact, a few of the contestants are. I'm very comfortable with someone's wife while they're there. I've been doing it for a few years now. Please let me wife. And all of the others were there for strictly entertainment purposes. Meaning I think from the start they really had no chance at winning. This one guy as a matter of fact comes in there and essentially plays the part of a mentally disabled man. I'm a virgin, I was gonna wait till marriage, but waiting for marriage is waiting for your guys' marriage too. So. Would you be down to split a beer while we're... Yeah, I'll have my first beer when, uh, when we're... her. Actually there were two of them. I hope you guys... are the right way. <laughs> Cause I would have done it. So you guys better do it. The show might as well have been called For the Love of Embarrassing a White Man. Just this morning, I thought I was gonna join two lovebirds in their marriage, but nope, I got eliminated. And my favorite person has to be Crip Mac, who is carrying this absolute train wreck. There's Crip Mac, I'm here. Let you know I'm trying to win Lita's heart over. So I can bust her coochie in the like she wants and treat her how she needs five get treated. He does not shut the fuck up and does not care who he interrupts. And at some point you just have to respect it. What if uh, another guy's leg touches your leg by accident? Sock cut in the face. But now we hopping in the crib blue water and we're gonna have a nifty time. Lena, bring your over here. Let's go. This dude is completely hilarious and he was the only one to kind of play a character like this and not make me completely cringe. And you guys do have to think that in Adam's mind this has all been a major success. As the series is on pace to get millions of views in the first month of its release. And I'm sure there will be a lot of little creeps purchasing the film. At the end of the day we already understand that money and attention are the main motivation when it comes to Adam. And you guys do not want to be aging like this man Adam's career. That's why I'm once again teaming up with Teach Hanley for the sponsor of today's video. Back in the day, I would try and take care of my skin, but I never really knew what I was doing. Various washes, various moisturizers, it was all very confusing. But with Teej, they make everything simple. For the last two years, I've used their level one system. It consists of a daily face wash, a scrub you will use twice a week, 
a moisturizer for the morning with SPF to keep you protected from the sun, and a nighttime moisturizer before you go to bed so you can wake up looking fresh. It is so important to take care of your skin, and if you do simple things like wash and moisturize with Tej, I promise you are already way ahead of the majority of men out there. And when you do order Tej today using my link, you will get at least 30% off your first box, plus a free gift. So I don't know what you guys are waiting for, click that link down below and take better care of yourself today. So Adam is still doing the cuck thing. Do you come to any conclusions while I was gone? They're all pretty hot. I, I'm gonna go kick my feet up, take a nap, make sure you guys treat my lady right in this hot tub, all right? I'll take you when we're done, okay? They actually disrespect him multiple times, both to his face and when he's not around. And I look at Adam and I'm like, he definitely can't be hitting that right, so that's why he called me here. I don't listen to no zesty. What? Zesty? Oh. He just called me Zesty. I heard that. Adam, thank you so much for almost letting me f*** your wife. He's even being a metaphorical cuck when watching them from a secret camera from another room while the contestants try to impress her with their circus animal antics. On these dates, Adam is feeding words into her ears like he's Tate talking to those men. Ask Kripmac to demonstrate his eating technique. That's a good idea. We should definitely have him go measure his can we get all of them to demonstrate their stroke? Can you guys demonstrate your stroke abilities? So you can show me, oh, that's your stroke? Only in this situation, they might actually get to smash. Other than a couple of irrelevant elimination events like knowing peen facts. I just have no idea what's going on with in other countries, you know? And doing push-ups and tug-of-war. There's really not much going on besides a bunch of men lusting over the grand prize, Adam's wife. I'm closer to Lena's coochie. <laughs> I just feel like after this show ends, sometime years in the future, everyone involved is going to need some sort of extensive therapy. At least these guys are really just there to raise their social profile or to get a bag. For Adam, it's one thing to see his wife on camera with another dude like with Jason Love. You know you're still not over the first man in your wife. How am I not over it? I haven't thought about that in weeks. It happened months ago. The first month might have been hard. <laughs> but to see it right there in front of you with his own two eyes, Sneeko style, has to hit different. And it looks like it's once again going to be a Jason Love-esque man to get the job done, with yet another white man falling down to his knees in the process. This was really just Adam's older brother. And for the most part, the show is pretty predictable. They even decide to bring a ringer in on the show. Planned a surprise for Lena. We had, uh, my friend Alex Jones show up in the middle of the whole thing. And I figured this is one of the best talents that we've worked with in the adult industry. I've seen him lay it down before right in front of my very eyes. And they did this after I guess either Lena or Adam didn't like either of these guys enough. I mean, this has to be one of the most out there productions I've ever seen in my life. And something about it is just so deeply sad to me. Finally come to a decision, and the person who's gonna my wife is. Like, producing this about your wife is wild, but she loves it, so why not? You guys stop, I'm gonna wanna pick all of you. Mm. If this was a thing, would you all participate? Yeah. Who could forget this generational trilogy that only rivals that of The Godfather? Volume 1, 10 men compete for my wife. Volume 2, I walked in on my wife with 9 guys. Volume 3, I caught my wife with six guys in a hot tub. I will say, for what he is doing, Adam is putting on a clinic in independent marketing, and at this point, we are down to the last few potential suitors for this thrashing. So we will continue to see where this goes. Adam, if you're watching this, come on, man. We know you're gonna be with Jeffree Star on the next season. Some are even suggesting that Dwight Howard might get thrown into the mix. Talking about for the love of Adam. Either way, I want to know what you guys think about all of this down below. But as you guys know, it's been your boy the Tan Superman. And some other crazy ass people out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!